I'm back home and uh, the urge has come, come upon me to revisit the issue um, with my decade box here. Uh, I made a video regarding uh, decade box considerations a short time ago. And uh, Dave Sterrell in uh, Northern Ireland there done a follow up to it. He was good enough to break the box open and uh, take a look inside. And now he's got me really intrigued because um, Dave's did not suffer the same issue that mine was. And just to recap what the issue actually uh, on was. On a 10 times scale here, as I transitioned between uh, 40 ohms and 50 ohms, uh, I was getting a momentary short. So let's see if we can duplicate that now. So that I'm at zero. There's 10 ohms or one times 10, of course. Uh, 20, 30, you can see the steps on the uh, on the vantage there as it graphs behind, 40, and here's where I had the green because of the design itself. We'll flip the board over and get a look at that and you'll see exactly what I mean. So here's where the issue was at a momentary short, and there it is there. You can see the transition, and of course it works in both directions. You can see the short there, there you can see quite a wide gap because I slowly transition between the two and I can actually, if I go slow enough, I might actually be able to get the, the short to actually. Present itself. That is. So as I transition between the two, you can see I'm not quite at five, but as I go to five, then I'll go to 50 ohms. So um, we'll flip the board over, as I said, and we'll take a look to see why is that? Why is that actually happening? Um, there's a pretty obvious reason why it's happening. Let's flip the board. Okay, so uh, let's just take, take a moment and take a look at the, at the design in this. And... Uh, in a way, I've got to give them credit because uh, the economy of the design is fantastic. Um, the robustness of the design and the reliability, uh, no, complete fail, if you ask me. But um, so let's take a look at how it's actually structured here. So you can see we've got a printed circuit board, as uh, Dave has already pointed out. He, in fact, already went through how it actually works. Um, so each, uh, each one of the segments here, with the exception of the last one here, is bridged with a 10 ohm resistor. So in this configuration, where the short leg, we're getting the low end of the range. So keep in mind, this is the, the, uh, the 10 times scale. So right now everything is shorted. So we've actually got zero. So let's see how it works. So we've got one side coming in. Uh, the only way we can get to the other side of the trace in order to get to the next decade, let's say complete the circuit, let's say, is to actually come in and we're gonna go across the 10 ohm resistor here across on the trace, across the shorting strap, then to the other side. And it works the same way. So now we're going across two of them. These two here, again, we come in. The only way to get to the shorting strap is 10 ohms through the trace, another 10 ohms, so that's 20 ohms across the, uh, the shorting bar itself and then to the other side of the circuit. So you can see in the background there, we've got 19.8 ohms, all makes sense. I think so. Same, same happened here, so 30 ohms. 40 ohms. Now here, here's where it gets interesting. So in order to keep things economical and to minimize the number of resistors they actually used, these are all 10 ohm resistors, 10, 10, 10, and 10, but this is actually 50. So you can see the way it actually goes across the circuit when you're at 50 ohms is now slightly different. Yes, it comes in through the, through the, uh, through the same trace across the shorting strap, and now it actually goes across only the one resistor. So that's a 50 ohm resistor in this position here. And you can see it's cleverly done. So now we come in for the 60 ohm setup, we come in through the trace, and now we've got to go across the 10 ohm, across the shorting strap, and now across the 50 ohm in order to get 60 ohms. And of course the same through the decade, right? So 7A, 8A, 9A, I realize it's out of scale here on the meter now, but that's not neither here nor there. The point is just to show the operation and the the design of the decade setup itself. The issue is because of the because of the setup, that means that this contact here can actually bridge right there, and that's where I can get the momentary short. And if I actually show you, if I get it in the right position, there's the short right there. It's gone again, but I've got to get it just in the right spot where we go from 40 to 50. 
there you can see the short. So it's only momentary because it's just bridging the contact ever so slightly and ever so quickly, but is it all the same as a dead short? And the last time I checked, those electrons are going to move pretty quickly and they're going to see that short um, clear as day, so to speak. So let's, let's see. Yeah, I think you can see there. Let's switch lenses and we'll be able to see even clearer. Okay, so here we have a macro view of the uh, the circuit board itself and here I think you can quite clearly see what I'm talking about you can see that that contact is well capable of actually bridging both contacts at the same time that is to say that is jumping the decade completely in this position as it makes the transition in either direction of course so that is the issue right there. So I think that makes the point that again, the whole point of trying to get through the decade is to go from this contact to that contact. And you can see right there is a dead short with this particular design. Again, cheap, brilliant, clever, yeah. Um, robust and uh, accurate and uh, foolproof, not a chance. So what am I left with here? Uh, some options. I figure I've got three options. I could file the tip here and make this so it's a situation where it doesn't bridge. I could cut the trace and make this gap a bit wider. Or I could actually, I can see on some of the other ones, I could actually bend the contact effectively making the contact um, surface area a wee bit smaller. As Dave again correctly pointed out, he said that um, this board is not likely going to be long for this world as he said. Um, because these are actually just scraping on the trace themselves and how long can it be before they're actually going to wear actually through um, of course it's extremely low duty cycle on these things so um, what I think I'll do is I'll uh, I realize you can't no longer read this label but it's just some dielectric grease you know I think what I'll do is uh, actually smear the board with a wee bit of this and um, you know the stuff I'm talking about right just this stuff dielectric grease in order to actually get the contact to just uh, um, slightly lubricated it as it crosses the face of the uh, traces. That's the mystery of the cheap decade box actually uh, um, resolved. Um, Dave was right in the first place. It had to be that scenario because it was an issue crossing between four and five, of course. And uh, it's the same deal actually when you cross between nine and zero, but because it's presenting a short at zero anyway, it, it doesn't really matter. It's only between the four and the five that's actually the issue. This this little decade box has actually proved to be more interesting than I, than I ever thought. And uh, as I said, clever design, um, but not so clever when it comes to uh, bulletproof uh, durability and robustness of the design. And um, is it worth it to save those couple of resistors? I don't think so. But um, it is what it is, right? $30 or £13, as Dave said, uh, can you complain? No, really. So I'll make those couple of modifications and, uh, and that'll be that. I don't think there's any point showing you. It's uh, straightforward to to imagine what I'm talking about. So uh, that's it. The only thing is, of course, um, it'll be a trade-off because now I'll actually have a momentary open as across this. So uh, when I go from 40 to 50 ohms, instead of having the 40 to 0 ohms, the momentary short, um, the, although no ideal, certainly a preferred situation was as a cross from 40 to 50 I'll have a momentary open, um, but it'll be short-lived just as the contact crosses that short bridge. Okay, that's that, right? Cheers.